Hi everyone, now that you have looked at some of Layla Ali's drawings, we are going to do an assignment where you are going to do your own drawing based on her work, or using her work as a reference. We're not going to copy, we're just going to use it as inspiration. What you need is a piece of paper, a ruler, a pencil, and a pen. Now you'll notice none of these are fancy, these are about as basic as you can get as far as instruments go. If you have a fancier pen, Here's one I like. Uh, it's just got a nice tip on it, but I'm just going to use a nice simple Bic, as cheap as you can get pen, so you can see that you can do this assignment with pretty much any pen. First thing you want to do is write your name on paper, say in the top right. Then you're going to take your ruler. I'm just a little bit to the left of center here. I'm going to draw a line, we'll say three and a half inches long. I'm going to move my ruler over, about an inch over, draw a line that's parallel to the first one. So I've got two lines that are parallel, about three and a half inches tall, and I'm going to turn that into a cylindrical shape, say just like this, like this, and I'm going to put a circle on top. After looking at her drawings, you can tell this is going to be the start of a person. Here's an example of one of the drawings that was in the slideshow. There are a few other examples. If you need to look back at it, go for it. All right, I've got a head and a body here. I'm going to put some arms on. Like I said, I'm looking at her example for inspiration, but I'm not copying. She uses long, skinny shapes for her arms and her legs. I'll put some legs going down. Now, just so you know, I did not really think about what I was going to do before I got started. So, other than the cylinder. So I'm hoping this turns out looking okay. I'm going to put some, call them feathers, on the top. Now she showed a lot in that video you watched. She uses a lot of references when she does her work. A lot of pictures from newspapers, magazines. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of cultural references. Anytime you do like a headdress or some sort of costume or dress that is somehow related to a certain culture, you need to be respectful of that culture. So I've got these feather looking things on the top of the head. I don't want to be disparaging of any culture. I'm not. These are just some shapes that I'm going to use. Um, just be sensitive. Don't do anything that might be derogatory or negative in any way. <clears throat> now, Layla Ali likes to do noses, just two dots, pretty simple mouth. And then she'll do some eyes, and this is just going off what I've seen of her work. If we were talking to her, she might be like, I don't do it like that, but that's what I see. Okay, maybe I'll put a line. I like asymmetric stuff, so I'm going to put the line of whatever this person is wearing a little bit to the side instead of down the middle. Okay, notice how I'm doing this all in pencil. I'm going to go back after I, I'm happy enough with what I've got and I feel good about it and I'm going to cover it with pen. So this is like the basic structure, the main structure, and then I'll go back with pen. Now you did your exercise with pen before so hopefully you feel comfortable with using it. Got my Bic pen now. I'm going to put some lines in here. And remember how the more lines you put, the closer together they are, the darker it looks. So at the base of these feathers, I'm going to put more lines. And then as I go up, I'll space them out.
And as you do your own, please don't just copy what I'm doing. Come up with your own ideas. You can put the arms in different places. You can have the face look in one direction or the other. You could have the person hopping around, skipping, jumping. If you don't want to do a cylinder just like this, you could have, I mean, if we look at this, there's some curvature in this one. This is more of a bell shape. Create your own work. Now, if I start my pen drawing with pencil, when this is all done, I'd want to go back in and just run an eraser over it to erase all the pencil marks. And if you are confident enough that you feel like you can just go ahead and do the drawing without starting with pencil, go for it. You don't necessarily have to watch me do this whole thing if you want to go ahead and skip through the video. But you're welcome to, of course. Just going to put that line around the head here and then make this area really dark. So to get those dark areas with the pen, best thing to do is some cross edging. So I'll go one direction, go another direction. Try to keep all the lines parallel to each other. It just looks nicer if they're all going the same direction as you change to different ways with your cross hatching. Now I'll go straight across. Maybe I'll keep it darker down here towards the tips. And put more space in between my lines as I go up. Okay, I'm going to do some really close together lines across this. Go back and do it all over again. I always like a little bit of form when I draw. Form is like, makes it look a little three dimensional. So I'm going to add more lines on the side and space it out just so it looks like it curves around and gets darker as it goes around. Then down here, I'm going to rotate the paper just to make these lines easier to do because they curve along the surface of the cylinder. I want to do a different direction just so there's more variety. Got these going that direction, so these will go this direction. Okay, a few lines going up and down right here just because, like I said before, I like it to look like it has form. Then over here, maybe I'll do some stippling. 
now that I've started doing this, I can already tell you that I don't like it. So I'm going to go over it with lines. I'm going to put another line right here. Just kind of taking it as I go, seeing what changes I want to make. I'm happy with that. Darkening these arms. I am going pretty quick on this. I think if I were making a drawing that I really wanted to be proud of, it would take a little bit more time. Could have even used a ruler on these arms to make them straighter. Then again, it's kind of nice that they're not perfect. His legs in, leave the feet white. Okay, as you do your own person, just do a lot of variety with your line work. This is really just to get you comfortable with using a pen. So if you want to use a pen on any of your future assignments, you'll be okay with it. Right, polish it up in a few places. When you're done, take a picture of it, submit it on Canvas.